contain these things can take a lot of foot traffic. They should use them for golf course greens. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So yeah, this, this was a dead end. Now we got a little crown there, but you know, not a dead end if we need to collect stars after all. Next galaxy, the fluffy bluff galaxy. We're gonna get another power up to play around with this one. Oh yes! It's exciting! Search for the Toad Brigade Captain! Oh no! Oh no! Toad Brigade Captains always seem to get lost, I tell ya. So there's a Cloud Flower. You'll see what they do when we get into it. Saw oh, poor little Toad. Poor little Toad. And... Ruff! Oh yeah! <laughs> hey, indeed! Yeah, look at the Power Star! Our new captain is homing in on it! By the way, he can collect stars even from that far of a distance, baby! <laughs> even inside objects! By the way, the music in this game... Pretty dang awesome! Love the orchestra soundtrack for the whole thing. It just fits the whole space theme so, so well. And they're all beautiful soundtracks. Or all, not well, all beautiful songs, I mean, in said soundtrack. So... <laughs> It's just a delight to listen to the music as you go along, and all the galaxies and stuff. I don't know why I haven't talked about it up until this point, but, well, but, well, I did now. <laughs> you taught this before, signboard. Dang it. <laughs> and we can go underneath here. Oh, yeah, sneaky, 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 sneaky. And did you see that, that chickadee here hit the ground there? That's a flap tack, because it's got a tack on its head. And then they make themselves vulnerable when they hit the ground. <laughs> All they do is aim for you and then they knock themselves out. <laughs> so yeah, the, with the music going on in this game and playing through these beautiful environments, it's like the most therapeutic game you could possibly play uh, until the difficulty gets ramped up to ridiculous levels. Oh, and you can also... Woo! A little bit. <laughs> it throws you off. It doesn't hurt you or anything like that, and it's not really useful for anything, because you kind of lose all control when you're being splashed with those little water fountain geyser things, but, well, but, well, you can do it. They're just a fun little detail. And we got a little pipe here. Oh, no, 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 no I want that! <laughs> we got a little hidden pipe over here. Get ready to collect coins! <laughs> they disappear pretty quick, though, so get... Your body moving, and this last one, after this one, is going to be the trickiest because of the coins in the middle. If you do a backflip there, though, you should be able to get them all. Uh, oh, shoot! Oh, shoot. That could be devastating. Uh, oh, I was not efficient enough. I should have went back for those two coins. Alas. Alas. Can I at least redo that? Like, can I... No. Oh, a tragedy. A tragedy. I'd have to restart, to restart the level to do that. Ah, it's okay, though. And dang it, I should be get, grabbing these suckers as I touch the flowers to unlock the stars from their contents. But no, I'm not. I'm not. Alright, so I couldn't change the camera there like I wanted to, as you could tell by that thing at the right side. But that's okay. Hey, hey, out there. How's Cloud Step? What do you mean, Cloud Step? It's Cloud Mario! From a cloud flower. Shake the remote to create up to three cloud platforms out of thin air. You can see your inventory from the clouds that are following you around here. See three clouds, three steps. Spin! Make cloud! Yes! <laughs> and you can use these to go all sorts of places. Oh, don't you... Don't you dare! <laughs> Look at this! Look, what, what is this craziness up here? This is, this is nutters! Captain, this is the concept that... Well, this leads to a secret area. <laughs> coins! Coins galore! And they're also timed! <laughs> so you can also buy yourself some stuff over here. What do you get if you should buy some stuff over here, though? I'm so hungry. They give me a hundred coins. They taste so good. If I eat a hundred, I might transform. Should I? Should I? And eh, maybe I'll wait until I do this. Wait, actually, no. I, mm, eh, mm. Yeah, I'll wait on this one because I think it's actually going to lead to another star, if I recall correctly. So let's just go hop back down here and do that one in just a bit, okay? 
And you don't notice I just I just kind of transformed back to normal Mario. Well, what what happened there? How did that? What what even happened? What why did that? This is crazy. Well, here's the explanation. Touch water, lose clouds, more head, keep going! Yeah, you can't touch said water when you're in cloud- Oh, shoot! Oh yeah, this is an elite Octoomba. They shoot two rocks! Oh man! That's what makes them elite, plus they're a little bit more mobile, I, I guess. <laughs> that, 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 yes, that's very elite criteria. I, although, I, I guess, admittedly, I did take a hit from them, so... I, I guess it, it technically was. <laughs> uh, you have failed. You have failed. <laughs> the block blocked you. Get it? Get it? Oh, jolly good, yes. <laughs> I don't think there's anything up this tree. And I check anyway, though. Nah, I didn't think so. It's gonna take a peek see around the edges. Never know what's gonna appear. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is I'm gonna refill my cloud stash. Make three clouds. I don't need three clouds to make it across that. I don't need any clouds, actually. Uh, sure, sure, why not? Let's just give you a little tutorial, the giblet here for the fun of it. Woo! Oh. Oh, over here! Over here! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so saying, hey, yeah, you can make clouds in midair, but yeah, you can figure that out on your own, too. <laughs> That also works just fine, I think. Jump as far as you can before you spin. If you do that with making clouds, you'll reach new heights! So, really... Oh, I lost my power. <laughs> so really, if you were to um, long jump and then make a cloud, you could, you know, get even more out of that. But <laughs> Oh, shoot, that that's not what I was going for here. Oh, shoot, that was... That was horrendous. <laughs> I accidentally... <laughs> went through the cloud instead of going through the, uh, or instead of hitting the boxes, you know how you can ground pound to hit boxes. <laughs> We're okay, though. <laughs> There's a checkpoint right there. So as I was saying about not needing any clouds to really get across that, yeah, you can just long jump this. And I also wonder if there's something hidden up here. I don't think there is, though, because this is all slippery. I just want to see here really quick uh, if there's anything... Uh, see, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. Nope, nope, it's fruit fruit Futile. Futile. <laughs> I want to see what that toad has to say here. <laughs> hey, 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 uh, uh, hello. <laughs> Some crazy looking monkey grabbed a power star. Our captain chased him up that wall by jumping off the sides till he reached the top. I couldn't keep up! Well, well, alas, alas, you're just gonna have to, you know learn how to wall jump like the rest of us, like using that sign. I'm pretty sure toads can wall jump too. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so yeah, this is another wall jump uh, tutorial area, I guess. I guess you could say this is technically the first mandatory-ish one. Oh, I'm, I'm missing the star bits on the cloud, dang it. I forgot those. <laughs> watch out, watch out for what? Is there something dangerous here? I know there's a comet medal over there, but that's not the thing that's dangerous. Comet Cosmic Clones, oh no, and I lost my power, so I can't get that. Or can I? Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> I could actually just wait until I kill off said Cosmic Clones by getting all these launch star pieces here, but, uh, well, I just did it then. Because <laughs> I, I, I just had my nice momentum going there, and we're all good to go. Oh, and by the way, um, you'll notice that you got star bits from said Cosmic Clones. Well, if you wait until they keep just filling up the area, and then collect that last one, you can collect a whole load of star bits from it. What? 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. And there's the secret that they're hinting at over there that I got up to before. But that's okay. We are okay for now. We'll get that later. <laughs> hey, you. I'm gonna kill you off so I can mess around over here. It's okay. <laughs> Captain chased that monkey! I just couldn't keep up! So tired! Need more endurance exercises! I shouldn't have neglected my fitness! <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna go and look out for these bad boys. They're gonna try, gonna try and push you off the edge here. Not really good, not really the friendliest guys, but that's okay, because we can just avoid them with clouds. It's a good time. <laughs> uh, I'll go for that. 
<laughs> and I could just do that and do that. Voila! I only needed one cloud. Leave a hint. Recipe, you shoot star, shoot star at enemy, you make dizzy, you kick enemy, enemy, you fly, bye bye! <laughs> I think that's supposed to be like, like tribal speech, you know, like broken tribal speech English type thingy, maybe, I don't know. Because, you know, they're like, they're like jungle creatures, basically. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't be reading them as I have been reading them, but that's how things are going, actually, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know. I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> We are going to get more clouds, that's all I know. <laughs> uh, nothing over here? Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna go on to this here really quick. Oh, look at that, look at that. <laughs> I'm considering my clouds... Oh, I actually didn't need to do that, I was gonna say that. I'm like, considering my clouds, you know, I have to take a look-see around these parts here. I never really looked around here before. Hi there. <laughs> Thanks for blocking my vision there. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over there. It's just a matter of just, eh, I just wanted to see, I guess. And like, I didn't realize there's another cloud over there, I guess. Or maybe I caught it on some other playthrough or something that I just forgot about. I don't know. <laughs> some monkey with sunglasses challenged me to a race. No, oh, instead, I should be better shape. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be out of thy thoughts. <laughs> Yeah, the Toad's, Toad's always asking for Mario's help, I swear. So obviously there's a little something secret going on over there if you want to go and flip-flop over there. Yeah, I can get there at two clouds. Sure, why not? <laughs> One up for the win! Oh, I can't change it up. Really? I don't want to aim myself, but... <laughs> it's, it's just it's kind of hindering me. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, now, as you've seen with the other areas, can I go in first person at least? Uh, well, I don't think there's anything around on back. No, there isn't. Oh. <laughs> oh! This guy, he's got a simple name. His name? Oh, it's you! Good work getting up here! They call me... Chip! Seems like you may be worthy of high climb and rival. Take the star, we'll talk later! Yeah! <laughs> I wonder if I should actually go and check back at, at those other clouds. Or can I go into first... Oh, there we go, there we go. I just wanted to see here. Because I, I, I figured I'd eventually be able to switch the camera around. See you around, indeed! <laughs> See, I told you this galaxy would take me a little while to actually explore, explore. <laughs> but I got it. And there's still more to do, I believe. Oh, we're gonna be taken back here because... Yeah. There's, there's something to be said. Down here. <laughs> Comet Metal gets. Heck yeah, baby! And, and, and. Oh, oh, oh it's clear. So there's like there's like two borders there. Because there's a, there's a dotted line that's only formed after you beat the level, and then there's the star blockade. Look at that! I see you brought back some kind of uh, floaty souvenir. It's a cloud flower. Wow, there sure is some weird stuff out there, huh? Yes, yes, indeed. I don't know why, but uh, our fire flower was not brought back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> remember, we had we got the fire flower in the uh, other level, so I don't know why it's doesn't. <laughs> You'd think that would appear in the museum of items, but alas, alas, it doesn't. Can I long jump up here? Yes, of course I can. So, alright, let's take a look-see back on over here, and, uh, uh, hmm. Maybe there isn't an extra star over here as I thought at the moment. So what, what does that transforming Luma do, anyway? Hmm. Hmm, because I was probably thinking of some other cloud-type level to, uh, <laughs> collect our coinages and to get and feed him and whatnot to uh, get a star. So maybe it wasn't this one, maybe it was something else, but what I do know is I can very easily and quickly collect a hundred coins through this, as well as a couple of nearby giblets. So yeah, let's let's get to this again and just see what that prize is really quick here. I probably should have just did it that first time because I, I wasn't sure because, yeah, as I said, I wasn't sure if it, you actually got a star from that or not, I was... But I, ju I just didn't want to do the wrong star at the wrong time. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah! 
<laughs> Victory! Wait, how many coins do we have now? I don't <laughs> wasn't really paying much attention. But what we do need to do is get some clouds to get up top. Spin, make cloud 68, huh? 68, huh? So I guess I gotta get some stuff from other places. <laughs> if you wanna see what that Luma wants out of you. Well, obviously, if we can get a bunch of coins from this tree over here, because remember this, this gave us some stuff that we can't collect with our pointer. We gotta run into it the old-fashioned way, because they aren't Starbits. <laughs> I think that's what makes Star Bits infinitely more fun to collect than coins, because it's just... You, you don't have to actually do much about them, you just kind of point over them, you just continue on your merry way. <laughs> and I think these all just contain Star Bits, though, if I recall. Yeah, I think. I think. <laughs> How did I get a hundred coins from this sucker before, anyway? You know, when I got up to that area before? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's because I was killing the chickadees. I mean, I certainly didn't get as many coins as I did from that uh, bonus area before. <laughs> uh, oh, oop, not yeah, poopers. So yeah, I'm gonna go around and collect some more stuff if you don't mind, because I still need my 100 coins to feed the hungry Luma. <laughs> Oh, wait a second, wait a second, I just realized, I got the coins all the way up here, that's right, because there's another series of coin challenges right here. I'm an idiot, <laughs> but I didn't need a cut there whatsoever. Okay, so what do you transform into now that I've done this here? Yes, yes, so delicious, so nutritious, and I'm not even pressing anything here, it's just happening automatically. That's the stuff! So full! Wow, I think I'm going to transform! So it's not a shop, it's a transformation indeed! A new planet was born! A new planet? What? What is this? So maybe it does lead to a star. <laughs> Woo! Sure it looks like it leads to a star. <laughs> so I wasn't wrong after all. <laughs> this was the one. <laughs> That's okay with me! <laughs> as long as I didn't, you know, waste my time by doing this level twice. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> well, I, I guess it's not a waste of time if you're having fun, but I mean, you know, waste of time for the sake of the walkthrough. Because, you know, otherwise I would have... Uh, if it just led to like a little bonusy type giblet area where it was just coins and star bits and stuff like that, I could have got that on my first run. Can I get up there and get ahead of the... Yeah, there we go. Because of the, um... Those sorts of things I usually like to collect on the actual run run of said level. But in the case of this, if it's leading to a star, which it sounds like, because you can hear the twinkle. Can you hear that twinkle? Yeah, that's the sound of a star being nearby. Here's a little secret giblet behind back here. <laughs> so we're still going up. Oh, shoot! No, no, no! no. Totally, totally misaimed that. That was just a terribly amateurish mistake. <laughs> and yeehaw! Going up! Yeah! <laughs> so there's our secret star, baby! Didn't show on the map, though, so I guess it doesn't show for all of them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I got it, though. And that's all that matters! Woo! <laughs> Alrighty, good to go. And really, that wasn't all that much to show. I mean, I was just kind of wandering around that first area a lot for that second star for coins. So I think it's a good idea to use our starages to unlock this. And head over to what looks like Bowser's Castle. But really, it's Bowser Jr.'s fiery flotilla. <laughs> Woohoo, indeed! And Yahoo, too! One star to be had here, and the Cosmic Medal, of course. Gobble Guts! Aching Belly, that's the name of the boss. This isn't a very long level, and you can see the Cosmic Medal right off the bat on top of that swamp, so you can't really miss it. <laughs> but that's okay, because you don't want to miss it. Those things are important for unlocking other stars. You will see when the time is right. <laughs> 
Uh, can I switch to... No, I can't switch to camera room. So we got these Goombas here. So, uh, they're, they're pretty armored. I mean, very, very, very armored. Extremely armored. Tremendously armored. <laughs> So what what do we do about these things? They're not they're known as goom beetles. All you do is you just simply spin up. Oh, well, I knocked it off the edge. Spin the flip it over, and then you can jump on its. So I just knocked another one off the edge. Then you can jump and kill it by yeah, its soft underside. Those helmets only protect them from the top. <laughs> and now we gotta get that cosmic metal. I mean comet metal. Excuse me. Why did I say comets? I don't know. I don't know. There, I got it. I'm not sure you've seen it, but I assure you I got it. <laughs> All you've seen probably was a sparkle. <laughs> Go over here, open that front gate. Um, that's, that's the worst security system I think I've ever seen. <laughs> it's just... Like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you have such... Un to open the door on the outside? <laughs> Dry bones, you can crumble them, but they don't stay down. Oh, no, 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 they are the undead. They come back, and they come back infinitely. Get star bits from back here if you'd like. Woohoo! Oh, man, we flipped. Oh, man, we flipped unexpectedly. And fire bars, they... Oh, man. You sound like a boo, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just gonna have to clear out the gravity here on this semi-sun. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Tutorial board. What you doing over here? You're not overheating or anything over here? <laughs> okay, let's see how how things are going. Oh, oh man, that tutorial on the spin like we, like we needed it at this point. <laughs> we, we spun so many times. Get some extra height by jumping and spinning in midair. It's a great way to pull off a precise landing. Heck yeah! You can get those. You don't have to wall jump to get those. You can just point at them. Lots safer than trying to jump down to that. <laughs> I should kill you before you cause me ire by shooting your magic all over the place. The power of PlayStation buttons compels you. <laughs> you know that their their magic always looks like the PlayStation button symbols. Oh yeah, there's a couple of those that you can get from a distance as well. Uh, a lot of people don't even notice those. Woo! To the boss arena! I told you this was a short stage. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh no, it's Bowser Jr. <laughs> Wahaha! Made it this far, huh? I will need my dad's help to finish you off. I've got a big surprise for you. Oh, God, we got dinners on! Don't forget to protect your belly, Hank Bulges! <laughs> so, um, he's hinting that that's, well, the game is hinting that it's his weakness. And well, and well, I, I don't think Bowser Jr. intended to give us the weakness, but he did anyway. And there's Carl Cobble Guts. He, he looks pretty, pretty big and threatening, and he's also pretty funny as well. <laughs> Notice that he's got scarring on his chin and stuff like that. It's implied because he's, he burrows into the planet. Watch this, watch this. Like that. And he scrapes up his chin. <laughs> then he goes inside the planet, go next to him, and attack those belly ache bulges. Yeah! With spins. After you destroy three of them, you'll be like, Oh! oh I'm not liking this. This is not good for my belly. And then he goes into overdrive! By the way, if you don't get them in a row like that, his head is eventually gonna come for you uh, during while you're trying to spin for them. So you wanna kinda kinda lead that head around. See that, see that, see that? Yeah. There's one, there's two. Oh, I'm gonna take a hit. That's okay. <laughs> and then there's an oh! Ah, uh, I missed the last one! I almost had a perfect run on it. Like perfect speed run style defeat. <laughs> That's okay, though. Oh! I did not even... <laughs> I thought I, I, mean, I, I thought I was going to dodge that, but I did not. Not even at all. <laughs> now listen to this sound effect. I love this. When he dies. <laughs> He's like, Ugh! <laughs> And this is a grand star! Another type of star. What's a grand star, you might ask? Well, let's find out. 
They're more powerful than a regular star, but they still only add one to your total. Go figure. <laughs> Woohoo! How do you like those apples? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! That's why they're more powerful. A portal to the next world opens up whenever you get a grand star. Woo! <laughs> Comet Metal is a go! Starrets! Yeah! Coins! Yeah! Wow, look at that! You did it! You brought back a Grand Star! That's great! Now we can use the power of that Grand Star to travel to another world! We're one step closer to retrieving your special one, buddy! Through space and time, to an unknown world we go! I'm jiggly just thinking about it! <laughs> that one I gotta admit is funny. Ready, Captain? Auto save, please? Well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not quite. Gotta, gotta show the cutscene first, I guess, before they'll auto save us safely. Woo! So World One is uh, quote unquote complete. Why I say quote unquote is, well, well, well. Remember that little marking on each. Each place, yeah. Wow, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. Looks like there should be plenty of power stars here. Go ahead, we're counting on all of you. We're I mean, we're all counting on you, Captain. Hard save. So now that we're at world two, we can start a new planet, which looks like a foam puzzle cube in the next part. Well, it's actually made out of wood, but I mean, it reminds me of these foam puzzle cubes called snafus. But anyway, I'm in the author part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next parts when we take on Snuffoos World. <laughs> also known as the Americanized version of the Happy Cube. You have to know puzzles in order to know what the heck that I'm talking about. In fact, I think that is a Happy Cube because it's got it's a 5x5 five five grid instead of a 6x6, six six, which is the Snafus. Anyway, I'm rambling. Ta